Well, here we are on day four uh, of this series of Advent poems, and uh, I'm back with a real poet this time, uh, Emily Dickinson. And uh, it's not a, a traditional Advent poem that I'm going to be sharing uh, this uh, today, but uh, it is on the theme of hope. Uh, and of course, the, the first candle in the Advent wreath is the candle of hope. I suppose, uh, as an aside, before I, I read the poem, uh, so far, uh, out of the, the four poems, two of them have by, been by female poets, and uh, I don't know whether I'll manage to keep up that equal strike rate uh, in the coming weeks. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll try my very best. But it, as I was looking for this poem in, in various uh, anthologies that I have at home, it, it struck me how few um, of the, the poets within them were women. Indeed, the, the first anthology of poems I ever had, the, the, the one that I got in my in first form at, uh, uh, at secondary school, Choice of Poets, there, there wasn't a single uh, female poet within it. And yet, how could we possibly omit Emily Dickinson to name but one? Uh, from uh, a list of a choice of poets. But anyway, uh, here is Emily Dickinson's poem, Hope. Hope is the thing with feathers that perches in the soul and sings the tune without the words and never stops at all. And sweetest in the gale is heard and sore must be the storm that could abash the little bird that kept so many warm. I've heard it in the chillest land and on the strangest sea, and never in extremity it asked a crumb of me. 